boys old news. Blew up who the fuck with new. Paint my truck out, Nilsie Blue. If I get one, you get one too. I really move, I bosses move. I never call myself a goat. I leave that little to the people. Alright y'all, welcome back to my motherfucking channel, okay, okay, period, it's your girl Laura Ashley, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to monetize your YouTube channel. Okay, so first off, I want to say, it looks like I don't have no hair, I look bald, but no, I have a bun in the back of my head, y'all, okay, so, ignore that, but quarantine got me like, I almost brought a new wig, but I said no, I can save money, I can save money because... It's quarantine right now. So if anybody wants to send me some free hair, go ahead and do that so I can get myself together. Okay? Check out these lashes, y'all. This is in the style do it all from my website, www.allbarbecueup.com. So make sure you go ahead and shop that. Okay? Let's get into the video. So I wrote down, literally on a piece of paper, <laughs> I wrote down 11 tips and tricks. Okay? So I'm gonna really get y'all lit. I'm gonna really get y'all lit with this. My first <laughs> tip is, before you do anything, make a list of videos that you would like to film for your channel. So this is something I did. Um, of course it will change over time because how you feel about certain stuff will change, especially if you wait too long like I did. I literally made like a list of 50 videos from like, literally, it's probably like two years old in my notes on my iPhone. But those videos are so old now that I don't even wanna record it anymore. So I had to make, like, kind of improvise a little bit, and some stuff is kind of random. But, like, my last video, ASMR, I've been wanting to film that. So some stuff is still relevant. Some stuff is like, okay, no. Because I still wanted to kind of do the Brad Star Challenge, but then it's kind of, like, expired. So am I going to do it? I'm gonna, I just chose not to do it. <laughs> okay? So that's just how I go through things. But I still think you should do that because it will really help you, especially if you start right away. If you choose that you want to start and you start right away, then it's lit. Do that, okay? Mm. Learn about copyrighted music, y'all. This was my biggest, biggest mistake. First, First of all, if you're gonna be recording videos, make sure you do not use no copyrighted music, y'all. Cause the, my video that was the most popular had freaking copyrighted music from it, a hundred thousand views plus, and I will never be able to get paid from that. That's heartbreaking. So just save yourself the heartbreak and create a playlist of non-copyrighted songs that you like before you even start filming a video just make a playlist of um just you can type in like drake type beats um no copyright make sure you put that in there even though it doesn't really work um to say that no copyright at the end because sometimes it can really be a drake beat or something they just like try to mat mix and mash it up you just have to be careful and actually listen to it all the way through um and before you even delete your original copy of the video keep keep the original copy and make sure you keep like an edited version without no music and then add the music in pre-upload it to your youtube channel if it says the um dollar sign with a line through it then of course you cannot oh wait this is that's if your channel is monetized so kind of i'm kind of jumping ahead of myself but that's a good way to test music um but you can't do that when your channel's not monetized so just be careful <laughs> just be careful with the music you know if a song is on the radio do not put that in your video that's basically what i'm trying to say okay <laughs> get an area for you to film in now that's important um i just use like the backdrop of my wall already i already had a sparkly wall so that's just what i use it does kind of irritate me that my pillows and stuff are in it in certain things but it's like i don't know i think it's cute because it's like furry and sparkly still i still think it's cute i don't know but i do want to get like a different setup soon i'm creating an office right now actually for my business but i want to create like a filming wall in there as well so i'm definitely going to do that so just create an area that you know is go you're going to be able to use constantly so that one video doesn't look oh that's such a cute background and then the next one is looking ratchet and then everybody's like well what's going on what's going on so just try to stay consistent with your background as well i think because i like to watch videos i know for me personally like i will i want to watch a video where it looks like they're in the studio and they look all oh, cute those be the good videos so i don't know just try to mimic that if you, you know you know when something is not right. And ain't nobody watching a video with 
a stain on the wall, this in the back, trash on the floor. Nobody is washing it. So clean up your room, get a nice area. It could just be a white wall and just film on that white wall every video organized, okay? Have it organized. That's important. Okay, next step. <laughs> post consistently that is so important i think that's what really made my um channel get bigger because i started youtube i started this channel in 2012 i didn't get monetized until 2020 <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> that doesn't even add up so it's just like when i was younger i never posted videos consistently i would like make a little silly video post it and then disappear for two years so it of course it was never going to go anywhere the the list of videos you make should help you post consistently because if you made that list of videos you already know okay this is going to be my next video this is going to be my next video so you should already be prepared to film your video okay and that's just annoying be prepared so you can post consistently okay make sure you love every video that you film okay because you're not going to want to promote anything that you don't feel confident about you're not going to want to be posting that on your instagram story oh go watch this go watch this if you don't even think the video is good so if you don't think the video is good why would somebody else think the video is good you know or just don't doubt yourself like i feel like you have to be confident in your video or else you're not really going to push the video the way it needs to be pushed um me personally i do not I don't post my videos on my Instagram or my Snapchat or my Twitter or promote it anywhere. Like, I post it on my fence and they're like, oh, you guys, look what I did on your school. But I don't tell them to go watch it. I don't want nobody from my school from nowhere watching my video because I don't like that. I just, <laughs> I'm such a low key, chill person. Don't watch my fucking video. Nah. I don't like it. So I'm not, even though I love my videos and I be dying laughing at my videos, I think I'm funny as shit. Don't, I don't want nobody else watching it. I just want like random people on the internet, my besties, y'all, y'all can watch it. But these people that I know in real life, don't watch my stuff. Don't watch it. Okay. I didn't even want my boyfriend to see this. Y'all think I want somebody from my school to see this? No no thank you next caller next caller next caller next caller next caller because you ain't talking about nothing make videos that are on trend what do i mean by that so on trend videos are videos that you see a lot of people doing um that you know kind of will get you views because it'll be in the suggested videos and things like that so that can be a way for you to get recognized so things like um, TikTok hacks, that's one that I just tried to do. It didn't do so well, but it didn't do terrible either. Um, just testing out a TikTok hack. Um, those are really on trend. Doing things like letting the um, car behind you get your order or whatever. I can't do that. I don't play by my food. Don't play with my motherfucking food. So I ain't doing that one, but people do those. Before, that was a really popular thing. What else was really popular? I'm trying to think. Um, makeup tutorials, of course, are always going to be something on trend. It's always going to be something that people are looking up. So do those because somebody is always going to search. Oh, makeup tutorial. That's always going to get searched. So make one of those. Um, but just trend videos. Anything that you see is on trend. Um, I've been seeing a lot of whipped coffee videos. I've been seeing like... A lot of DIY acrylic nails due to quarantine. But see, and, I, and that's crazy because y'all, I've been doing acrylic nails this year. Don't play with me. Ask about me. <laughs> I'm just playing. But I really do. I've been doing acrylic nails since like middle school. And y'all just went on a wave of being your own nail text and shit. Girl, I've been doing it. Period. I'm going to show you. I'm going to insert a clip right here. Of me doing nails when I was like 11 years old. Bomb. That's on period. Alright. Alright. <laughs> I'm like, it wasn't bomb, bomb. But to be 11 doing it, that's bomb. Don't play with me. Okay. Stay positive and keep going even when you feel like you're not growing. Okay. That is so important because just like how i was telling y'all i started my channel in 2012 why am i just now getting monetized in 2020 because i didn't stay 
um consistent before i didn't like keep going because i didn't see growth just because you don't see the growth doesn't mean it's actually not growing or getting better guys okay so yeah i think people think when they don't get a thousand views on their video oh nobody's watching me what is the point of me keeping going that's not even why you should be doing it i just do it because i really think my youtube videos be funny they're entertaining to me i watch myself all day <laughs> but like they entertain me it's kind of like therapy almost as well because like i just stay what the fuck is on my eye basically what i do all the time when i do my makeup but i'm just filming it for other people to see too so it just kind of comes natural to me i don't know that's why sometimes I be distracted. I don't even be looking at the camera. I be looking at myself because that's what I do in the mirror. So just make sure like I don't even know how I just got so far off track. I don't even know how to reel it back in. I don't even know how. I remember now. I don't know how I got to that point, but I remember where I'm at. Just now that even though you don't see your growth immediately it will help you in the future okay even if it's a year from when you started oh sorry i know that's probably messing up the mic even if it's a year from when you started posting your videos just make sure you keep going because it's going to get to a point where even if it's 90 views on this video and then you have 100 on this video and then and you just build up slowly that's fine who who are you in competition with who are you racing with everybody has their own rate of growth and that's okay i'm really silly i say good lighting even if you record on an iphone good lighting can make your camera quality look amazing okay so what i mean by that is i record on my iphone a lot of people record on their iphones because for one it's easier to edit straight from your phone it's easier to post straight from your phone you don't have to go from the camera to the laptop to then you gotta find good wi-fi for the laptop so upload your video you know and I, I had to think about that because i was about to buy a camera and then i started thinking like well then if i buy a camera i have to get a lap a better laptop to edit my videos quicker and then because i would want to get a macbook because i'm so used to using iMovie already and, and no no <laughs> If I do anything, I'll use my freaking iPad, but I'm not going to get it. Not right now. Like when I really, really need good quality, when I start doing vlogs, then I think I'm definitely going to get a camera for vlogs, especially because you'd be moving your iPhone and the iPhone gets out of focus really easy. Like it's good for doing setups like this. Quality looks amazing. I have a um, newer ring light. <sighs> this, this ring light really works wonders. Helps you take amazing photos, everything like that. So I do recommend y'all get it. Um, I know the one I have, I think is 90, but you can get a little small one. I have like the huge one. You can get like a 12 inch one and start with that and then just build up, build up, build up. Also, another tip that I have, when you have a ring light, even if it's like a small one, even if you have a small little ring light, whatever size ring light you have, turn off all your other lights in the room and just let that light be the only light because ring lights have like a different color to it than a regular light bulb. So that's what makes the quality also look a little better in my videos, I noticed. That's the trick I use. I turn all the other lights off that my aunt actually taught me when I was first, first, like in 2018 when I first started selling lashes, she taught me that trick. And I started using it on my videos and I noticed that they look way better. Okay, so try that trick out, y'all. Try that trick out. The next trick. Okay, so weirdly enough, my aunt randomly just called me right in the middle of me talking about her. So that's really crazy. So shout out to Christina. This is her at name, guys. Make sure you go follow her on Instagram, okay? So do that. <laughs> um... The next tip I have is listen to your subbies. And for a channel that doesn't really have subscribers, like when I started making videos, I didn't have subscribers. I had um first video this year. Did I only have like I only had 27. I only had 27 subscribers and I'm pretty sure they were like all my friends. <laughs> It was my mom, my granddad, my cousin. Like I literally could name all the people who were the 27 subscribers. So it wasn't like they were really my subscribers. You know, it's like, it's not like they really found me and, but they was gonna watch my videos, but. So 
most people don't really have subscribers when they start posting videos so who are you really gonna ask well I would say um, in whatever first your first video is that you post just be like um, let me know what you would like to see next time in the comments below um, I say that a lot of times and people will rot rant people will comment random things like I had in one of my inventory hauls a girl commented can you do a video on how to make lip gloss um things like that and i am gonna do videos about that just let y'all know um i am gonna do another business video but this week is kind of this is counting as my business video i hope y'all are cool with it but um yeah so if you just say stuff like that in your videos you can use your instagram your snapchat your twitter whatever is also of a way for you to get video ideas like if you do a Q&A ask the people on your Instagram hey can you give me questions to do in my YouTube Q&A and hopefully they'll comment something that you can answer on YouTube so definitely use your other internet platforms as a starter base for you to find people who are interested in your videos okay this is like a this isn't really a tip but it's a trick i guess tip or trick i don't know <laughs> but number 10 is i didn't do things like sub for sub and the reason is because i've heard it can mess up your youtube and analytics or whatever not analytics but the algorithm 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 okay i heard it can mess up your youtube's algorithm and like ruin your whole channel um, excuse the way that I say that word. I really don't know how to say it. Algorithm, something like that. But I heard that it can ruin your channel's whole algorithm and I wasn't okay with that. I'm like, I don't know if I should do that. I have had like a few YouTubers who are like the same size as me like, oh, can you um do a sub for sub sub? I do it, but I'm not going to do it like a hundred times. Like I've done it. One boy asked me and I went and subscribed to him, but other than that i'm not going to keep doing sub for sub like a hundred times and i have a hundred subscribers just from sub i don't see myself doing that like i feel like that of course is going to mess up your channel if you do that a hundred times i don't know like i don't have a problem subscribing to people's youtube channel don't think that it's in my comment and i see they have youtube videos up of course i'm going to go watch their videos and subscribe to their channel but Doing sub for sub, I wouldn't like comment on the video. Oh, sub for sub, sub for sub, sub for sub. I feel like that probably does mess up the algorithm. I don't know though. I'm not that deep into this yet, but I'm just using that suggestion, letting y'all know that I personally, to grow my channel and monetize my channel, did not do sub for sub. my last tip is how to get your subbies and watch hours up okay so for me the subbies was the subbies i'm so cute for me the subscribers was the easy part i got the subscribers in the first month of posting um constantly i got the subscribers that was not the problem the problem was the watch hours and it was like i was like oh this is gonna be a breeze this is gonna be a breeze little did i know <laughs> It was 4,000 hours, that's a lot of time. And I think it's because the app that I use to track my stuff is doing it in minutes. So for some reason I thought it wasn't gonna take that long. But it really, 4,000 hours is a lot of time. It, when you hear it, it sounds sweet, but that ain't sweet. It's a lot of work, 4,000 hours, okay? So my tip for the subbies, I don't really have a tip. I feel like if you stay consistent, you stay consistent, the subbies are going to come, the subscribers are going to come. That's not the problem. The problem is the watch hours. Now, at first, I was making videos that weren't too long. I wanted to keep them sweet and short so that people can stay entertained the whole time and watch all the way through. Um, and now, I'm starting to do longer videos because it, I wanted to get my watch hours. So, I actually just got my watch hours like two weeks ago. And I think I have 10 videos posted right now um, that are public. And it took me all 10 of those videos to get those hours. But yes, I was, the hours were a, a big problem. I'm trying not to sit here and think of what I'm trying to say. 
Now I'm posting longer videos. The door, the duration of the time that people watch the videos is really the same as the shorter videos. So I'm not really mad at it. But I would like it more if people watch the video all the way through. So I think I'm going to go back to making the video short and sweet. I don't know. Just comment below and let me know. Do y'all like long videos or do y'all like short videos? Because I don't know what y'all like. Yeah, and that's all that I had to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And when you subscribe, you might as well go ahead and hit the bell notification. So you can join our gang. Okay, okay, period. Mm -hmm.